Hello, this is Tim. Did you come back today to hear what happened to Jump Jump and me when we were captured by the Ice Dwarfs? Ice dwarfs had captured us. They were little men no taller than my shoulder. They had long beards made of icicles, and they carried swords of ice. The poet, Archie Pogley the Clown, Mary Holliday, and I had all been surrounded by these little men, and they were marching us through the snow. We didn't know where. I'll tell you just about that in just a minute. to find you. Archie Pogley looks scared, Mary Alladine. His chin is wobbling up and down. <laughs> so is a poet's chin wobbling up and down. But well, the poet is probably making up a poem. It's Sleepy Slim I'm worried about. Where do you suppose Sleepy Slim is? The dwarves are stopping. Yes. What do you suppose they're going to do now? They're lining us up in front of this big rock wall. I, I think it's ice instead of rock, Tim. The leader of the dwarves is taking out his sword. Yes. And he's touching his sword to that big snow-covered rock. Oh, the rock is moving. See, Tim? It's opening like a door. Yeah. What happened to me, Mary Holiday? What happened to me? Shh, jump, jump, shh. Keep your head down. We're going into some sort of, a, of an ice tunnel. They're motioning for us to go into the tunnel, Mary Holiday. Mm, all right. Come on, Archie Pogley. Come on, poet. Yes, Archie Bogley. Walk close to Mary Holiday so the ice dwarves won't get near her pocket. Uh, you know why, don't you, Archie Bogley? Uh, 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 yes, Tim. <laughs> here, here, here we are in a tunnel. Yes. Yes. Look how the ladders set in the sides of the wall make the floors shine. <laughs> the walls and floors are ice. No wonder they shine. Don't slip. The floors are slippery. The ice elves don't seem to mind they're slippery. No. Oh, they're closing the door behind us. Well, we walked along for several minutes. Most of the ice dwarves ahead of us, but about a dozen or so following us down the tunnel. They never spoke a word, but they shoved us along. And if we looked back as if we were going to stop, as the poet did every now and then, they frowned and waved their pointed icy swords at us. He was sort of creepy and awfully cold. And then... Look, everybody. Look, there's a big room opening out of the tunnel ahead. Let me see, Mary Holiday. Oh, please, jump, jump, keep your head down. Yes, there is a big room there. Oh, look. The roof must be as high as the building. And look at all those funny things hanging from it. More icicles, I guess. I was in a cave near the orphanage one time, and it kind of looked like this, Mary Holiday. There's a fire in the center. Good, there's a fire. Maybe we'll all thaw out a little. 
Archie Parkley's so cold, and he can't even talk straight. Oh, is he just cold? I thought he was scared, Mary Holiday. <laughs> no, Tim. I'm a cold. <laughs> look. Oh, look, Archie Parkley. Look, Mary Holiday. What do you see, Tim? Jump, jump. Quiet. I'll tell you what we see, and I'll keep your little head down. There's a room full of ice dwarves sitting around the fire. Well, maybe they'll all melt, Mary Holiday. <laughs> oh, please, just <laughs> be quiet. Be quiet. What's that up in front of the elves, Mary Holiday? It looks like a big chair. Yes. It's a throne chair, Tim. And someone is sitting on the throne chair by the fire. Oh, it must be the king of the ice dwarves. I'm going to ask him if he's seen Sleepy Slim. The dwarves are making an aisle for us to walk through, Mary Holiday. Yes. Come on, poet. And Archie Pogley, you stay close to Tim and me. Look! Look who's sitting on the throne. Yes. Oh, why, it's Sleepy Slim. It's Sleepy, Sleepy Slim. Slim. Hello. Surprise. Surprise. Oh, Sleepy Slim, we thought we'd lost yes. you. Yes. Yeah, I bet you wondered where I was, didn't you? Wondered? Oh, we've been so worried. Well, what does all this mean? Are, are you a prisoner here, too? Who, me? Of course not. I'm the new king here. The king of the ice dwarves? You? Sleepy yeah. Slim, the king of the ice dwarves? Yeah, but uh, please sit down and get warm. I sent a few of the dwarves up after you. Cute little fellows, aren't they? Well. But uh, I'd rather be a elf myself. Oh, there you are. There you are. I was wondering where you were, Jump Jump. Come up here and sit on the arm of my throne chair. Now, say hello to the ice dwarves, Jump Jump. I already did. Oh, you did, huh? They didn't say hello to me, though. Oh, they didn't, huh? I hid in Mary Holiday's pocket. And I'll bet you had a nap in Mary Holiday's pocket, too. I bet you I'd like to take a nap myself. Oh, please, Sleepy Slim. Don't take a nap now. Tell us how you became king of the ice elves. How did you get off our sled? Oh, that. Well, uh, I was sleeping. Naturally, you're always sleeping, I, Sleepy Slim. I fell off. You fell off the sled? Yeah, I fell off and rolled into the snow. Well, I was lying there thinking. Why didn't you get up and run and catch us? I thought I would, and then I thought again. And, uh, uh, you thought what, Sleepy Slim? Well, King uh, Sleepy Slim? Yes, I thought I'd run up and catch you after I rested a while. Oh, But dear. then while I was napping, a bunch of these little dwarfs with their icicle beards came over and started watching me sleep. They thought that I was wonderful. Of course, I am wonderful. Oh, of course, Lady Slim, but... Oh, it's nice to be appreciated, even when you're sleeping. Well, how did you get down here? Well, you had a king. The, these little dwarf fellas, they asked me to be their king, you see. Ask you to be king? But why, Sleepy Slim? Yeah, to sleep. Yeah. Oh, Sleepy Slim, you're impossible. No, it isn't impossible for me to sleep. It's impossible for them to sleep. That's why I'm the king here. Uh -huh. The ice dwarves haven't slept for a thousand years. Oh. They got me to do their sleeping for them. The ice dwarves haven't slept for a thousand years? Hmm? Why? It's too cold, I guess. Some people just can't sleep when they're too cold, I guess. I can, Sleepy Slim. You can't, huh, Jump Jump. I can. Now you take me. Sleepy I'll Slim, you aren't going to stay here with these dwarves, are you? We need you to go with us to help rescue Santa's reindeer from the Ice Queen. Yes. You need me, huh? Oh, yes. Yes, we all do. Because I'm so smart, I guess. Yes, Sleepy yes. Slim. Yeah, well, I guess I'll just abdicate the throne and come with you, after all. I kind of hate to miss Christmas. Out of the way, ice dwarves, out of my way, and let my friends through here. Come on, Archie Fogley, come on, Floyd, come on, Tim, come on, Mary Holiday. Yes. Jump, jump, you stay on my shoulder. Uh, 
Ooh. The ice guards aren't going to let us through, Sleepy Slim. Mm -hmm. They don't want you to go. Well, if they don't, I guess, well, then I'll just stay. Oh, no, no, Sleepy Slim. Oh, no. Uh, we must go on and get the reindeer. Ask them again to let us through. It's getting close to Christmas. Stand aside! Stand aside, fellow ice dwarves! Um, stand aside. But they didn't stand aside. They closed in around us and waved their icy swords in our faces. We didn't quite know what to do. And then Mary Holiday said, I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, you said the dwarves haven't slept for a thousand years, yeah, didn't they? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Then they must be awfully sleepy. So don't you see if we could only think of some way of putting them to sleep? Well, how can we put them to sleep, Mary Holiday? Uh, well, what can we do? I'll jump. 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 What good would your jumping do, Jump Jump? Rap to me. I'll show you. And sure enough, Jump Jump jumped into the seat of the throne chair and started jumping up and down. He jumped backwards and forwards and sideways. And he jumped so fast and so long that all the ice dwarves watching him closely, that pretty soon they began to nod. And the first thing to you know, one by one, those little ice dwarves fell over on the floor of the cavern asleep. It made me sleepy, too, watching Jump 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 up and down. But Mary Ho Holiday prodded me and said, Come on, Tim. Oh, Sleepy Slim, wake up. Wake up. Come on, Poet. Come on, Archie Buckley. All the ice dwarves have been hypnotized by Jump Jump jumping up and down. Come on, hurry. Step over the sleeping dwarves. Careful now, careful. Don't wake them up. Step over. And we'll run away before they wake up. Come on, Jump Jump. Dear, brave little Jump Jump, jump into my pocket. We ran up that ice tunnel as fast as we could go, and we opened the squeaky door. And we were free outside once more. <gasps> oh, you made it. Oh, oh, how nice to be out in the open air again. Oh, and look, the wind has completely stopped blowing. Is everybody all right? Yes, we're all right, Mary Holiday. I'm all right, Mary Holiday. Oh, good. Now to hurry on along the silver path that the Christmas fairy showed us before the ice dwarves wake up and find we've gone. Mary Holiday, Mary Holiday, look. What, Tim? Look where? Up there. Look up there, everybody, across the silver path. Uh, what is it? What is it? Don't you see? It's a crack in the ground that's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. The ice is cracking open right across the silver path. Oh, we can't get back to our dog team and we can't follow the silver path either. Oh, it goes down and down and down. Yes, well, jump, jump, don't you get close to the edge. I know. The ice queen has opened up this gap in the ice to keep us from passing through. Oh, what shall we do now to get to the ice queen's palace to rescue Santa's reindeer in time for Christmas? Thank <laughs> you.